What's up, guys? Chris Teresi here, professional sports better, founder of WeCoverSpreads.com. Um, here to give you guys this the Monday night report. 49ers Steelers, that's what everybody wants to hear about. Before we get into that, I do have a premium pickup on this site. should be released around 7.30 p.m. Eastern tonight. You could get that up there on the site. Um, terrible start to last week. Closed off very strong, hitting four out of our five um, bets. So had a pretty good NFL day yesterday, and that, that brings us up to 57% on the season in NFL. Now, Let's go ahead and talk about the breakdown. Curtis, the breakdown of this game, courtesy of my boy Nemo. You guys can follow him at Nemo Seven One Eight. Guy's an underground affiliate in the NY betting scene. He's on Twitter. That's Nemo. I think it's Bottom Score Seven One Eight. Actually, I can't remember, but you could go ahead and look him up. But um, I think I'm gonna bring him on too in future videos. I'm gonna we're gonna figure out a way to get his audio on here with the both of us. So. That'd be pretty cool to get his his input from from the other side of the counter. Uh, the way is going at his shop. The side fifty fifty. The total fifty fifty. Parlays fifty fifty. So bookmakers dream right now. This game bookies are are in the saddle, feeling very comfortable. Finally, a Monday night game. They don't have to sweat through. They're getting fifty fifty action on both sides. What's happened with the side here? The the, the number opened at three at his shop. And it's down to two and a half right now. So they actually did move off the key number three and move down to two and a half. Total opened up at 38, was down as low as 37, is now back up to 38 at recording time. All right, so let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about the positives and negatives of uh, both teams here. Um, if we look at Pittsburgh's positives coming into this game, um, they've won eight of their last nine games, so they have positive momentum heading in here. Um, four, five and four against the spread in those nine games, though, so a little bit above 50-50. Another positive is Pat Willis is out for the 49ers, so that means they could probably run the ball uh, quite a bit better here in this game. And um, Pittsburgh's running game... Not 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 that bad. They're averaging about 4.2 a carry, 114 and a half yards per game. Very comparable to San Francisco. Um, it's still a meaningful game for Pittsburgh. Is another positive, especially with Baltimore losing last night. Uh, it's a very meaningful game for for Pittsburgh in that um, sense. Uh, another positive is Lamar Woodley and Troy Palomalu will play. Another positive, Big Ben Roethlisberger will play. Um, and another positive, I feel there's an edge with Pittsburgh here. As far as the Pittsburgh passing game matching up with the 49ers secondary, Pittsburgh averaging 257 passing yards per game. Uh, 49ers secondary gives up about 234.5. Negatives for Pittsburgh. Maurice Pouncey is out. Marquise Pouncey is out. Uh, that's the center. And everything starts up front in football. And without him, that can spell trouble. 49ers defense is definitely has enough talent to exploit this offensive line and get at Roethlisberger, who has a hobbled ankle. Um, Niners, Niners defense is um, no joke. You know, that's a negative. They're coming in here facing probably one of the best defenses in the league, giving up under 300 yards and only under two touchdowns per game at home. Very strong home field edge for San Francisco. Okay. Now, let's talk about the positives for San Francisco. This is at home on Monday night as far as motivation goes. It doesn't get any bigger. This is the biggest game of the year in San Francisco. The juices will be flowing. This place will be rocking. Motivation-wise, great edge here for the 49ers. Two, zigzag NFL theory. They're coming off a loss here. Usually a team like San Francisco, that's pretty good. That's one of the elite teams in the league, responds very well off a loss. Howard Boggs is a very good coach, and um, he so far this year has responded off a loss with W's. Um, another positive is Pittsburgh, regardless of getting Ben back and Woodley and Palomalu, they are very banged up, and they're dealing with suspensions. And this is, could be something as far as San Francisco's personnel is coming in here much more healthier. Um, 
you know so that that despite minus willis that that helps them um there's as we know there's going to be a, a a makeshift offensive line for Pittsburgh tonight 49ers D could definitely help exploit that Joe Staley the big run blocker that was injured for San Francisco is healthy will play off the concussion today they need him in there at left tackle just as big of a position as a center negatives Alex Smith is struggling of late last three games you gotta wonder is there tape out on Alex Smith which is forcing the 49ers to struggle Frank Gore negative no 100-yard rushing games in his last five games. What has happened to Frank Gore? And now he's going up against a Steelers defense that is holding opponents to under 100 rushing yards per game. Offensive line issues. 49ers have given up 18 sacks in their last three games. That is a lot. Um, Another negative... This team has been so hot against the spread. Have you? We you wonder here, even though with 50-50 action, our odds makers shading this line a little bit, trying to create action to, you know, benefit themselves and kind of skew this a certain way so they get certain money to keep it 50-50. But the odds makers have their own agenda about San Francisco in this game. Now, as far as some trends out there for all you trend guys. You're probably wondering, are there any positive or negative trends out there for either team? Steelers, negative, 1-4 against the spread in their last five as a road underdog. Not a great trend right there for them coming in here. 49ers, what about their trends? A lot of positive trends out there to talk about, but how about 8-0 and in their last eight games as a home favorite? All right, over-unders. How do I look at this one here? Mm, I'm not really sure, but there's a lot of these are two under trending teams. If you look at a lot of their trends, they're both six and seven to the under this year. Totals right at the key number 38. You guys want my opinion and play on this game? Pick it up. We cover spreads.com right here at the site. You can get my play direct here from New York, and we'll get you on the right side and get you going. That pretty much wraps up this video, giving you the breakdown of the pros, the cons. Hopefully, you guys can use that to help put you on the winning side tonight.